All right, so this is part B of the question, part B. Pretty much it, solve for AX equals negative 2, 8, 0, 5. First solving LC equals negative 2, 8, 0, then UX equals C. And obviously in the previous, in part A, we found L equals this and U equals that. All right, so the first step to tell you by solving that, that uh, LC equals negative 2, so they give you this, LC equals A280, and we have to find C, because we don't know C. We know L, we know that. Okay. So C will equal L inverse of that. So pretty much take the inverse of L, multiply by both sides. Uh, okay. So we already know L inverse though. L inverse is R. Because R inverse is L, R L inverse is R. So we'll just retrieve that from the last section. So C is equal to R times negative two A zero. Alright. And the record matrix was one, zero, zero, three, one, zero, negative five, negative one, one. And if you don't know the record matrix, take the inverse of L. Inverse of L is R. So now we have C equals this matrix and that, so you pretty much multiply it. One times that plus that, that, these are both zeros, so it's just negative two. And then the second row, negative six plus eight, that's two, zero. Ne uh, Ten minus eight, zero. All right, so C equals that. So in our top equation, we already found C, we know A, we know U, and we know C. So now we pretty much have to find X. X is only missing. There's two ways to find it. You can take the inverse of that and find X, or you can use this right here. U equals UX equals C. Just take the inverse of U, multiply with C, and we'll get our answer. So we're gonna do that. Alright, so now we pretty much all uh, we have to do is find x. So we're gonna do that by inversing u x equal c. So u inverse times u times x equals u inverse times c. This is gone. Cancel each other out. So x equals u inverse of c. All we gotta do is multiply u inverse times c. And we already spelled c in the last part, which is right here in two two two. U inverse is the inverse of u. So uh, you guys should already know how to take inverse again, and just take the inverse of u. You look at that. So now we're just going to multiply together to find x. 1, negative 1, 5, over 2. 0, negative 1, 0, 0. Okay, multiply 5, negative 2, 2, 2. And we will get negative 2, negative 4, 5 is, wait, negative two, five, which is one, zero, so two, uh, one, minus two, and one, zero, 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 so one, x. So x equals this, c equals that, and that's your part b.